okay the question is saying it is a sweatering summer okay this is a sweatering summer and a boy want to buy some ice cream bars okay so at the store there are n ice cream bar you are given an array of cost costs of length and where the cost of i is the price of i i the ice cream bar in the coin in in coin coins okay so it is saying that this is the array this is the array right and its length is n okay this is the array okay cost and length of n in which we have this is the length right and so if we'll talk about the ith okay means first or zero zero to i okay so this is the uh, price of the ith ice cream okay ith ice cream in coin this one okay so total seven coin is given here now it is saying the boy initially has coins to spend and he want to buy as many as i as, as many as uh, you can say ice cream right as possible so return the maximum number of ice cream return the maximum number of ice cream bar the boy can buy with the coin okay so let's assume the first example okay the first example saying that we have costs what one three two four one correct the first example saying the cost cost is given this one and now coins he what coins we he has he has coins uh seven correct he has coins seven and costs are here so how many ice cream he can buy so if we'll talk about the first ice cream he can buy from this one okay the boy can buy the ice cream at what zero one two four how this is the index zero this is the index zero this is the index one index two index three or index four okay so what we will do we will <coughs> we will uh, we will uh, buy and then we will, then as well as we will increment the what uh, uh, ice cream okay so if we'll talk about ice cream so if user is going to buy this ice cream so now re remaining coin is what remaining coin will be coins will be seven minus one now it is six next time he is going to buy this ice cream right so what is the cost now it will remaining is six now three okay so it will be now three now he is going to buy the ice cream two so now three minus two is what one and after that he is going to buy he can he can't buy this one right he can buy only this one because only one is left and four cannot be minus right it will the remaining coin will go to minus and he don't, doesn't have the available coin to buy the ice cream right so what he can do he can go to the fourth index and he can buy where the ice cream price is only one one rupees and then remaining is now zero so what we have to do coin you have to decrement right coins you have to decrement with the cost of i okay so basically you can say coins uh, coins you have right given and you have to decrement uh, how to decrement you can say equal to uh, cost of costs of i with the cost of i you have to do minus okay each time and this is your coin right so in this way when he will buy if at i you can say at i okay this will happen okay as you have seen so remaining coin you have to update your coin each time after buying the ice cream okay now if you'll talk about the example two you can see that uh, coins is only five rupees and there is no available ice cream to buy so because the uh, ice cream price is more than 
the given coins similarly for here ice cream uh, 20 rupees is given 20 coins is then right and he can buy as possible as similarly i had told you can do by your own uh, this one so now if you'll talk about uh, the approach right now there is first approach that is sorting that is a greedy approach right so in this approach right this algorithm sort the cost array in the ascending order right the cost is given that we will do the sorting okay now what we will do because previously what if it was given if the array was given the costs are given right how cost was given cost uh, cost this is the array right and it was given like uh, i think there was a one three two four and one was there so what we will do first we will sort this okay what we will do this sort this after sorting uh, it will be become like one one two one one two and uh, three and four like that right so the first al al in algorithm we will do the first we will sort this one now what we will do we will initialize the length of input array we will take an array right so input we will initialize the length of input array we will take a n and we will increase uh, we will take on ice cream to denote index of the current right this is ice cream let's see ice cream okay like this we are saying so each time what we will do we will buy and we will store here okay so in the this is this is done right now coming to third what we have to do third step we will do while there is an ice cream left right we we can have enough coin to buy that we will check we will check the condition if that is possible right otherwise what we will do we will reduce the cost of the current ice cream from our coin that we have that we will do and then ice cream we will increment by one and then move to the next ice cream finally what we will do we will return the ice cream and that is the number array right <clears throat> so what we have to do we have to take arrays right and then we will do arrays that sort this is the function inbuilt function right and uh, this function will take uh, the time complexity if we'll talk about it will take o n log n right whenever you will use this uh, uh, functionality right <clears throat> to sort the array you have you have to assume that your time complexity is n log n right what n log n <clears throat> now what we have to do we have to take some variables right uh, let's see we will assume the variable is uh, the length length of our uh, array right so now cost is given right cost dot will do length the second one right sorry this is not array and this is not a string this array so our what happened we have got our we have initialized our length variable okay after that we will take on variable in which we will see how many ice cream we can buy by right count count ice cream ice cream count ice cream okay we will take on count ice cream and that we will start from what zero how many ice cream we can buy right or either you can give the name count underscore ice cream okay count ice cream you can give the name so we have started count how many ice cream we can buy and that we will do <clears throat> so how we will buy the ice cream means uh, first we have to move to our loop right and this loop will uh, this is our ice cream mm. this is our this is our ice cream so this ice cream we have to check if ice cream is less than n if ice cream is less than n and what we have to do it should the length of the ice cream should be always less than equal to n okay now we have to check the costs and cost of ice cream cost of ice cream should less than should less than equal to the coins given coins correct then only you can 
buy then only you can buy what the ice cream correct you can only buy the ice cream give me one minute okay now fine so we can buy only the ice cream we can buy only the ice cream if the count of the count ice cream is less than equal to n and cost of the that ice cream we can buy if less less than length of the less than count coin means price and that should be less than or equal to maximum it, this can be and another we have taken the ice cream should always ice cream should always less than equal to n we cannot buy maximum count right if the five ice cream is in the array only five we can buy right maximum five or less than the length right now if we'll talk about uh, the after buying right if we have able to buy then we have to update our coins right and for that what we will do we will say that coins what happening coins what we will do coins will take right and coins we have to update we will update we will reduce the with the cost right costs we have cost we have and we have brought our ice cream right so this is the brought ice cream whatever the cost is there that will reduce the from the coins and then we have to increment the after buying we have to increment our what ice cream how many ice cream you have bought equal to by one i am taking at a time at a time one ice cream we will buy then what will happen after uh, completing this one we will return our number of ice cream how many ice cream we have now if we talk so this is our program that we are doing here right so let's uh, submit this one we have run the code yeah it's working fine let's submit It's working fine complexity right what we have did here we have we have did sorting right sorting of the array and that that take the cost cost what o n o n log n right because we have did arrays dot sort here yeah, remember arrays dot sort and we, we have passed our array right uh, coins this is our coins coin set that's why it was taking and so that the time complexity is what o and log n now if we'll talk about the space complexity and we know that the sorting will take uh, in java o log n or our in other language it will take o n okay now coming to the another approach right in which we will we can see that uh, the approach is counting sort and this is also greedy right but in in this we will take we have taken the counting sort we have uh, study I, I we have used this one uh, in the study program right if you haven't seen that please go and see that uh, video so i i'll uh, 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 we will understand here right so this input array is given okay so what we happen we have already done the previous program right uh, using counting sort right so a comparison based sorting method like heap sort merge sort etc takes n log n correct however using the counting sort we can access elements in sorted order in linear time okay so so counting sort is a sorting technique that is based on the keys uh, keys uh, between specific ranges right so we sort each element uh, elements frequency in the array and thus using this array we can access all the elements in the sorted array right so we have to check the frequency right so this input array is given correct we the input is array given and uh, what we will do we will store the frequency of the array also right so as you can see that we have taken one frequency right so if you if you talk about uh, we have started from what zero to 10 right this is our array, array array indices right this one 0 to 10 and if we'll talk about how many uh, 2 is there right so here you can see how many 2 is there 
one, two, three, four, and that's why this is four. Correct. So in this way, you have to make a frequency array, and you have to store at each it at, at array position, right? So zero doesn't have the zero will remain at the zero index zero, one will remain at one, right? But at third position, what we have? We have uh, four, right? And that's why four will come what? How many position it will have? Uh, sorry, two. Two is how many times? It it is four times, right? And similarly, at third, only there is only one three, right? And that's why it's like so. In this way, we have to do the frequency array, right? So generally, you have to assume this index, right? You have to assume this index, right? So zero is coming one time, one is coming one time, two is coming four time, three is coming one time, four is coming two time, five is coming zero time, six is coming one time. Like that, you have to check from the input array and you have to make the frequencies, right? Now, if you if you talk about uh, the idea behind counting sort, right? So, what we have taken, we have taken additional array, array frequency, right? We we store the frequency of each element of the input array right where array frequency index denote the element of the input array okay so thus in the indirect way when the indices of the frequency are accessed in the in increasing order we also access the element of the input array in the sorted uh, first what we will do we will uh, take our cost right what is our cost is given uh, cost length we, we can take the we have given costs and this is our uh, length right okay now we have our length right uh, wait okay now what we will do we will take the number of ice cream right so i'll give the exactly the same name ice cream ice cream how many ice cream we can get so we'll start the ice cream is equal to zero right now uh, we'll take the cost we'll take int m m equal to what cost at zero right cost at zero will take and uh, this is our max we'll say our max okay max max length you can say max length we'll take the max length right why we'll take the max length because this length we will take our uh, frequency maximum frequency you say maximum maximum frequency you can say maximum frequency right maximum frequency will take we have the maximum frequency right and what we will do we'll check uh, we will we have to update this maximum frequency initially we'll taking from index 0 okay now we'll now we'll make, uh, make a loop and we'll take one by one cost so i'm taking the first cost one right from what we, from the costs right cost this is the cost we're getting one by one cost and then we will update our frequency and for that what we will do this is our given uh, this is our frequency that we have, we have to update right and uh, we have a math function that will take the max and we have to pass two things the first the max frequency we have to pass and another what we have to pass the cost right this c okay now uh, we have updated our maximum frequency right we have our maximum frequency now what we will do here we will take a frequency array and for that what we have to do we have to take uh, int this is now array now what we have to do we have to make costs costs cost frequency right cost frequency i will take frequency i will take the full name cost frequency and this is what equal to new and we'll take int we have now uh, we have now our updated maximum frequency the so maximum frequency plus one will take okay this is our we have initialized our cost frequency right so this cost frequency will contain all the frequency with the with its index right so what we will do we will make a loop right and we will uh, for all the cost we will make the loop and we will update its frequencies right so we are we will make the loop and the cost 
frequency we have to update for all cost for each cost you can say how how many times it is coming then we have to increment its frequency right that, now that is done now what we have to do we have to make a, another loop right another for loop now third for loop we are making <laughs> so in the in in here what we will do we'll take int uh, we'll take cost int cost right and we'll start from what one okay we'll take c also this one this will uh, take now we have cost c cost equal to one now we'll start with what c should be less than equal to what the maximum frequency we can move max till the maximum frequency okay and then uh, plus plus will take c okay now um, no ice cream is present costing cost means if we have what the cost of frequency cost of frequency takes at c okay at the given price c is equal to zero it means there is no ice cream right and then we'll say continue okay it means th there was no ice cream okay means if we'll talk about here means what no ice cream now what we have to do we will check if you don't have the enough coins how means if we'll check if coins coins is less than c if coins is less than c means we don't have enough what uh, money to buy the ice cream not enough money to buy ice cream okay this is done now after the these two base conditions what we will do we'll uh, check right we will count how many ice cream we can buy then we'll take a count function count you can say ice cream count ice 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 cream i'll take count ice cream how will do that equal to we'll take math math dot there is a mean how in the given uh, coins how many we will buy right so the frequency frequency what we are doing we are updating the at cost we are updating our frequency right so we'll take that one here right and this is what our c right now we'll check our uh, uh, what coins we have remaining uh, remaining coins right by what c cost and which one will come that will our uh, count ice cream is there right that that is our count ice cream number of ice cream minimum number of ice cream we can buy from here is like that okay now we have to update our coins each time right so we'll take coins minus equal to what our cost c cost into what count okay now this is done now we'll take what will uh, we have our ice cream right now we have taken initially ice cream right and this ice cream should be plus equal to number of count and finally we will return what we will return our uh, ice cream correct because we are updating each time so if it come to here we will return our ice cream correct now you can see that what we have did initially we have updated this ice cream now each time uh, we will check the with the given coins and frequency we will check our uh, minimum count how many ice cream i can buy and uh, we have we have we have to update each time our coins after buying and then we will update the coins uh, number of ice cream at each frequency level right so that we have did so let's submit this code and run this